Yo, what's up? Oh, today I'm talking about friends with benefits and why it's the only way a woman will desire you. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, friends with benefits. And the, it's the only way a woman will desire you. Now, I was inspired to create this video from another relationship dating coach out there, Corey Casey Zander, excuse me. He's got over 450,000 subscribers. Um, I like his content. Now, remember, this guy's never been married, single young guy, all right? Sure, fine. His advice helps me in my dating game, but I always look, through, look at things through the lens of somebody who was married, myself. I was married for over 20 years, single now. So obviously, I've had to level up my single game if I want to date more attractive women, and especially younger women, though I have a range of women I will date, so full transparency, I will date a woman anywhere from 20 to 45. If she has high desire for me, she looks great, few other things, you know, I'm very flexible in that range. So what was really interesting about this video that, that um, Casey did is he talked about basically two buckets, right? You've got this relationship bucket and you've got this friends with benefits bucket and the difference in terms of the woman's desire for you. So let me first talk about the relationship bucket because um, that's the bucket that I was in and that's the bucket of you're living with someone and you're married to someone. Uh, I will, I'm going to paraphrase some of the things that Casey said and add my point of view on it. So the relationship bucket, really, when you're in that bucket, like I said, you are married to that person or you're living with that person. So this is the sad truth. The sad truth is, and studies have proven, that the more committed a man becomes with the woman, the more her desire decreases, right? So let me repeat that. Her desire re decreases the more of a commitment you make with her. So when you move in, her desire will decrease. When you get married, her desire will decrease. Again, and by the way, that decrease has nothing to do with them having children. It has nothing to do with them having stress or depression. I know this for a fact because during my dating time, and I've dated hundreds of women, gone out on hundreds of dates, and been with very attractive women. So, and some of those women had children. And what's interesting is the women with children were just as freaky and just as naughty as the women without children that I've been with. And I'm thinking, why weren't you like that with your husband? Right? And just studies have shown that after marriage and the woman can't put a finger on why they lose desire for their man. I'll go have more videos about this and why women lose that desire. One of the ways is obviously when you, the more you commit to this person, she, she starts to see you differently from a person she wants to be intimate with versus a person she wants to be in love with. And I know that sounds really fucked up, but it's true. So when, she, when a woman is, is in a relationship with you, yes, she sees you as a provider, she sees you as a protector, but she basically turns into mommy mode, right? So that whole um, freakiness, naughtiness changes. <clears throat> and what's interesting, what Casey said is that very quickly, a woman will put you in that, in one of the two buckets of a category. In your first few dates, she's starting to think, is this person someone that I could be freaky and naughty with? Or is this person that I could have a relationship with? And the thing that blew me away about Casey's video, and I'll put a link to the video in the description, is that you can't, you can't jump ship. So, 
For example, for those of you that are living with a woman or married with a woman, I mean, let me know in the comments, but if I had to guess, the sex is not what it used to be, right? It's not what it used to be from when you were dating. And it's because she's, she's put you in this bucket. And even myself during my marriage is the sex changed after a couple years. And then all of a sudden there wasn't much sex at all. So what's wild though, that Casey mentioned is he said, even during dating, a woman will in her mind put you here or put you here right? And you have to determine, and that's why I created this video, you have to determine which bucket do you want. The relationship bucket, you're not going to get as much sex. You're not going to get as much freakiness, nastiness. You're going to get more love if that's what you're looking for. This other bucket, this friends with benefits bucket, you're going to get the freakiness, you're going to get the naughtiness, or you're not going to get her love. So, where I'm at is I, because I was married and I have that experience, I'm not looking for love. I'm so focused on myself, my own purpose, my hobbies, getting to the gym, create, you know, building this YouTube channel that I want to date somebody that's reliable, consistent, and is fun, that could take my mind off things. If we fall in love, great, but I'm not looking for that. And I, I want that freakiness. I want the nastiness. I'm looking for friends with benefits. And so kudos and hats off to Casey for sharing that video because it, it made me realize, wait a minute, you know, he's right. Women are going to put you in one of the two buckets and the friends with benefits bucket. And they're going to determine that very, very early on, right? Which bucket you're, she's putting you in. So this all goes to the whole nice guys finish last, women don't like nice guys, or you know, some women want a nice guy. So basically at the end of the day, <clears throat> you need to determine which bucket you want that you're looking for, right? And if you wanna be in that friends with benefits bucket and have somebody who's freaky, nasty, you really, really need to focus on your masculine frame and maintaining your masculine frame, right? And the more videos you watch on my channel, you'll pick up on all these little things that I do to maintain my masculine frame. So for example, one of the things is, look, see this watch? Isn't it badass? Isn't it huge? That is an example of masculine frame. There's nothing feminine about this watch. Uh, I see some men wearing these expensive, like dress watches. Ow. They, they're the size, they're teeny little things like 38 millimeters, 35 millimeters. I don't even think they're 40 millimeter watches. Maybe they're 40 at best, but they're thin. They're tiny. Like guys don't wear that. Okay. Wait a minute. Wear that. If you want to be in the relationship bucket and basically not have any sex or not have wild sex. Okay, because that's what she's going to put you in. She's going to be, oh, he's he's a nice guy, you know, and um, I like him, and I could probably see myself falling in love with him. Yeah, there's not going to be any sex, and and you're going to be craving that. Versus this other bucket, all these little things that you need to do or not do to be in one of the two buckets. So the friends with benefits bucket, she needs to constantly be seeing your masculine frame. I will never wear a dainty little feminine dress watch ever right <laughs> no <laughs> right? like this is coming from a guy i like to watch boxing i like to watch ufc and you know um and, and and by the way i will share this after my marriage i really had to level up my masculine frame game like i really did and some of the stuff you might be watching and thinking wow this guy is very natural and and and, and he must have been doing this for a long time no a lot of this is new to me. I got this watch not like pretty close to when I knew I was going to leave the relationship and I started learning about masculine frame. I've always liked chunky watches. This is a diver's watch, by the way, and I scuba dive, so it's perfect for me. Um, there's another watch. I'll do a, another video on the whole watch thing. There's another wa watch I want to get. 
that's um, a little smaller than this, but I mean, this is 53 millimeters, not lug to lug. This is 53 just right here. So it's big, right? The other one's 47. So I recommend that. I mean, yes, I understand some men, they have smaller wrists, but um, masculine frame is so important, especially if you want to be in that friends with benefits bucket and you want her to constantly have freaky desire for you, burning desire. And so I don't know, like, so let me know what you think in the comments about the relationship bucket versus friends with benefits bucket and what's been your experience with desire. I'm curious. So leave it with that, man, and we'll see you next time.